Hey you guys and welcome back to another installment of As Told by Brittany D and of course I am Brittany D and today I am back with another lock tutorial for you guys. My 30th birthday is coming up September 28th. Yes I am a Libra and in true Libra fashion I am about to go all out for my birthday so of course I need to add more color. I need to wash this mess because it's been a minute since I last washed it so yes it is time. So the first thing I am going to do is add the color. I'm going to start off by bleaching the hair first. I won't be sharing the bleaching process because I do have a video on my YouTube channel where I go in depth on how to bleach and color your hair. So if you guys want to see that video, I will have it listed below. But to save me some time, I did bleach the hair off camera. Now before I wash it, I am going to add a hot oil treatment. I'm using four to five natural super growth oil for my hot oil treatment and I'm going to apply this to my scalp and down my locks now I don't remember the last time I gave myself a hot oil treatment but I said I'm going to start adding a hot oil treatment to my hair care routine because I am coloring my hair more and I want to prevent any damage that can be caused by coloring your hair so you want to make sure that you're adding your oils and properly maintaining your locks after you have added all your oils you want to grab a shower cap or a plastic bag and you just want to cover your locks with that plastic bag once your locks are covered you want to grab your hand dryer or if you have a sit under dryer go sit under the dryer for 10 to 15 minutes and boom you gave yourself a hot oil treatment once your 15 minutes are up this is what your hair should look like and now it is time to rinse that oil out of your hair i'll be using the fortified natural sage infused black soap shampoo to wash my hair today it's a salt fake free shampoo as well as hydrating and is great for removing dirt and buildup and that's perfect because as I mentioned earlier, it's been a while since I last washed my hair. I think it's been a month. So yes, I need this. So I'm just going to continue adding some shampoo and I'm going to scrub that into my locks, making sure I have covered each inch of my locks with shampoo. And I would avoid using your nails because this product has tea tree oil. It does stimulate your scalp, leaving it feeling very tingly. And you don't want to scratch that, okay? You know, it's like scratching a perm. <laughs> yeah, but once I have finished washing my hair, I'm going to wash it out off camera and do the color off camera. Now, I know you guys want to kill me, but not to worry. I do have a tutorial where I show you how to do these rainbow locks you guys know i just gotta save myself some time and i don't like repeating myself over and over again so if you guys want to see how i do these rainbow locks go ahead and click the video below um but yeah so now that i have added the color i am going to just sit around the house for about an hour or so to make sure that the color really stays and then i'm going to rinse my hair with cold water then set myself back under the dryer and prepare myself for the next morning so here i am the next morning and my hair is completely dry and look how that that color came out yes that color came out beautiful so the key to long lasting color is to wash your hair with cold water not warm for some reason warm water strips the color from your hair but now I'm going to add some moisture back to my hair. I'm going to use my rose water that I made. If you guys watched my last tutorial, then you have seen how I did this. Of course, I'll have it listed below for those who did not see the tutorial yet. But I'm just going to spritz my hair with this rose water. Then I'll massage it into my scalp. And I really quickly want to show you guys how clean my scalp is. You guys remember in the beginning of this video, it was filled with flakes and product buildup. But, but now it's looking good and hold up. <laughs> you see that hang time <laughs> you see that length coming through okay but i'm gonna stop teasing y'all before y'all try to cut my bundles off now i'm going to add some leave-in conditioner just to lock in that moisture of course i'm using the fortified natural leave-in conditioner and i'm just going to add a nice generous amount to the palm of my hand and just rub that bad boy all up and through those luscious locks of mine and don't be shy with it don't be shy at all get up in there 
but can we take a moment to really admire this color because these rainbow locks came out so freaking beautiful of course if you guys are interested in knowing what products i use to achieve this color all you have to do is click the iCloud above and it will direct you to my rainbow lock tutorial where i show you what products i use go check that video out but now it's about that time to retwist my hair. Of course, I am using my favorite lock and gel. Sorry that I forgot to show it, but I'm using my lock and gel to retwist my hair. But I'm going to apply that gel to the root. Then I'll take my rat tail comb to clean up the part. And without combing the product into the roots, I'm going to palm roll the roots twice and then do this little swirly knot thing and boom. If you all remember in my last video, I said that I'm going to stop combing the product into the new growth. Just something that I learned from another professional loctician because you guys know that I am not a professional. I'm just a girl from Philly with locks in a dream, okay? <laughs> but we're going to continue retwisting my locks. so it's the next morning and now it's time for me to style these bad boys and the style that I decided to do is something that I haven't done on myself yet so I was very excited to try it but the style that I'm excited to try today are pedal buns yes so we will be doing pedal buns today it will be like a half up half down style so two pedal buns in the front while the rest of my locks hang because you know I got all that hang time in the back you know but I'm going to start off by creating two pigtails for even pigtails you want to add the same amount of locks in each pigtail so I believe I had 11 in each pigtail after that of course you want to secure with a rubber band and begin creating your petals so the number of petals that you will have depend on the length of your locks so because i have longer locks on top i can create two petals out of one lock so you want to start off by taking the lock and just how you would tie your shoe you want to create that bunny ear and secure that bunny ear with a rubber band and you may have noticed that I still have a lot of lock left out and that's because I want my petals to be smaller so I'm only going halfway down the lock if I wanted larger petals I would then secure the locks at the very end but we're going to continue creating the first petals and once we're done with those we're going to secure the ends and as you see I just took the ends of that lock and flip it upwards creating that that loop and securing it with a rubber band and of course I'm going to show you again so I'm going to take this lock and pull the ends upwards then you want to place the end over the rubber band then you want to take another rubber band and secure that end creating two petals in one lock so yeah you just want to keep on repeating those steps over and over and over again until you created all your little petals So this is the finished look. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. I'm about to jump off camera real quick, pop some makeup on and get myself ready because I am turning 30 this month. So this is how I am wearing my hair for my birthday pictures. But yes, I hope you guys did like this tutorial. If you guys did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you guys won't miss another upload from me and get ready because Libra season is coming. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.